So, so much at stake. There's Lindsay Collins. He comes up against a number of his Queensland teammates tonight. The Storm with the recent advantage head-to-head -head against the Roosters. They've won 14 of the last 20. But interestingly, in finals, the Roosters have won three of the last four. And Brandon Smith, how will he be feeling tonight? 107 games with Melbourne. And he returns to his old home ground for the first time in a final as a Rooster. Can he take down... The Melbourne Storm. They are undermanned, the Roosters, but they have shown great tenacity to make it to week two of the finals. It's do or die stuff. And the Roosters are hoping to spoil the Melbourne party and Collins gets week two of the finals underway here. Surely Melbourne can't be as plain in consecutive weeks as they were last week. Totally outgunned by Brisbane. Smith with a pass to Butcher. Fast physical defence at the beginning of this set for Melbourne. And now here's Teddy taking off down that left-hand edge. He was looking for Wishart. He got some added assistance from the returning Marion Sebe, who's got the headgear on tonight. He was knocked around last week against Brisbane as Smith sweeps it back to Walker in his return over the last month has really sparked that Roosters attack. Now Nick Meany, 10 tries, 11 try assists in 23 games for him this year. And now Remus Smith. Stand down, you drop. He and Justin Olin both dropped after that loss to Newcastle in round 21. Here's the PNG star back in the lineup. Throwing the lifeline by the great coach Craig Bellaby and Nelson Arsima Solomona. His 19th final tonight. Five from the halfway. Lots of garlic. Tackled by Egan Butcher. And it's Munster. The key man as ever, particularly with Jerome Hughes missing tonight. And the ball is taken well by Jackson Polor, who hasn't been seen since round 12 this season. He had a great start to the year as a rooster. Scored six tries in his first five games, but has been left out for the back part of the year. And Polar again, out to the 30. Radley playing on to Lindsay Collins. Let's go sideline. Billy Slater, it's a big occasion, and it's a nice night as well. Yeah, it is quite nice down here on ground level as Luke Geary goes down this left-hand side. Yeah, be Pong a tackle just in the touchline, Billy. Sorry, Tom. Oh, beautiful conditions. Uh, the wind says it's coming from the northwest, which is behind Melbourne Storm, but uh, it is quite still down here. And, and with being still, there is a little bit of dew on the ground, so I think that's going to worsen as the night goes on. So early points might be a premium. All right, Billy. It's a wonderful evening here, and both teams giants of finals football fighting for survival. The arrow. Good tackle by Walker, giving away a size advantage, but he was most physical, and Josh King has dropped one early. Yeah, and I was just about to say, this is where the Broncos got the better of the, the Melbourne outfit last week, early doors. They were physical with their defence, had great line speed when the Storm were coming away from their own try line. And just on that occasion here, King, he just had a just a slight look up at the defensive line coming forward. Great position to... Receive the ball for the Roosters. Yeah, interestingly, the field position is one within three minutes. The Roosters are well and truly down the Melbourne end. Here's Keary. He's been super in the last month. He's played every game for the Roosters this year. They're down inside the tent. Oh, Jungle Collins took it well and got absolutely nailed by Big Nelson. Brandon Smith and Walker. Oh, ball's come out the back and Melbourne have forced a mistake of their own. That was King who initially copped it up. Yeah, great play. He come out and put a lot of pressure. Turn around Walker. Looked like they got a little bit confused there, the Roosters players, but he's made up for that error in the set prior, King. Well, that time it was Butcher. Same thing, eyes off the football. Big he would have been encouraged by the tackle before from Big Nelson on Lindsay Collins. 
made a bit of a statement. Break. No. So seven sporting the headgear. Won seven of their last nine finals at Amy Park, this Melbourne team, and they're actually on an eight game winning sequence at home. It's their best winning streak here in a decade. Played by Katar, Kama Kamita. Good determined run up to the halfway. Garlic pushes it for King and now Munster played behind Liero. Meany accelerates. Ollen. Ollen trying to punch through. Walker got over there. And the skipper Tedesco also. Encouraging ball movement for Melbourne. Munster with a kick. And Warbrick is pursuing. But it is taken there by Ponga just outside from the goal line. Nice play by Melbourne. Oh, Allen! <laughs> Up their defence. They will be flying off the line like missiles here. Butcher. That's three tackles used. Egan Butcher now. Strong tackle again by King and Katoa there also. So 18 out from their own line and going nowhere in a hurry. Collins. Plenty of time for Walker to kick. It's not a deep one by any means. A couple of hops. And uh, they might have won back some of that ascendancy by way of field position here. They definitely have now. Meany with a lovely run on return. Well, that was Brandon Smith. He didn't quite get on that kick chase. He left that little bit of space in the middle of the field. Nick Meany did a great job of finding the space. Now here is the first penalty of the game. He took a risk there, Tyron Wishart. He had a hand on him, he just took a dive. And the fact Melbourne stopped playing pretty much demanded the referee make a decision. I was talking about field position earlier. It's amazing how field position always gets turned around by defence. Big Nelson, big Josh King, two hits, come up with an error. And all of a sudden, it's now their second set down on the Roosters line, Billy. Yeah, I just think the Melbourne Storm have been braved in the opening exchanges of this game. They shifted the ball out to the left-hand side as they go again here. Now, Justin Mullen made that line break. That gave them the field position. Now they're on the attack. You've got to be brave in semi-finals. I think that's going to be their target all night is their left edge, the Roosters' right. Paul Momorowski, his first game in a oh, long, long time. Hasn't played since round nine. Only his third game of the year. What, what an occasion to come back. Former Melbourne player. In fact, he played in... Premiership winning seasons for both clubs. Paul Momorowski, he's won a comp with, Brit with uh, Penrith too. Garlic. He's 18th man in a couple of grand finals. Yeah. Wish out now. Had a little exploration through and over. That was too simple. Wish out, well that will settle any nerves starting at halfback. He's pierced through the defence and scored the first try for Melbourne. Well that will most certainly Settle the nerves, Tomo. If he was feeling any coming into this match, thrown into the halfback position, he just bamboozled the defence. Harvey Norman replay. As Brandon Smith once again. Luke Keery, he got up slightly in front of Brandon, which created that bit of space there for Wishart. Right foot, show the ball to the outside, stand the defender still, and away he goes. He's got great speed. Well, that was brilliant. He got bought by the defence and was forced into the dummy, come off his right foot. And then he played with the defence. Got Brandon Smith sitting still on his heels. And then just too quick, he got inside Luke Keery and too fast for Brandon Smith. There's the Telstra. Fan cam. They're all storm. What a start by the halfback, Billy. Yeah, knowing Craig Bellamy well, he just want Tyron Wishart to play to his strengths. You know, he's a great ball runner, and, and Cam, you mentioned he's got great speed. That's his number one strength, is his running game. You see, when Tyron Wishart gets the ball in jersey number 21, runs the footy, shows the footy, and then runs again, and just draws the defender out of the line. Luke Keery comes up at Eli Katoa. Use your speed, use your strengths. Great start by Tyron. Well, they've got a couple up over Brandon Smith already. Missed a couple of tackles in the first nine minutes of play. Nick Meany. And uns oh dear, oh dear. Hey, behind, guys. What early, make sure we 
away. Just keep looking for us, Nat. Nat, just keep looking for me on the tent. Just keep looking for me. Well, Tyron Wisher called in to Phil Jerome Hughes. Uh, roll at halfback when the ladder was injured yesterday and uh, he's got the first try and Melbourne with a penalty Take straight off the guys. resumption here and it's Victor Radley high tackle, just here Cam yeah. little slap in the face, you will be right they're just, the Roosters they've been caught ball watching a little bit that's on there, Munster. He, he half went through between oh, Radley oh. and Smith. Once again, showing the football. Melbourne with seven wins in their last eight games against the Roosters. Again, begin with her. Wow. Yeah. What a dynamic start. I spoke before the game about the hookers. The most important person is the person with the ball. The Roosters have really got plenty on their mind at the moment. Oh, Collins. Big shot on Nelson. That's a statement play. Garlic targeted Smith, bumped away from him again. Now come and Kamitha, they get him one on one with Walker, but Siwa Wong, 20 year old back rower, he's commanded plenty of attention in the last week or so. Siwa. Now Sebe. Held by Corey Allen, down on the 20. Meany away for Tyron Wishart. Pops it up in the air. Polor is the man for the Roosters. He's knocked the ball on here. Knock on Roosters. Well, that was unnecessary to go for the ball in that situation. There were plenty of Melbourne Storm jerseys. Yeah, quickly. He didn't get a good straight run at it either. He had it coming from the side from James Tedesco. I'm not sure what All he's, right, what he's thinking here. here. from the Roosters. Just being the decision of our lost ball. Knock on. Well, We'd like to think he's quite certain about this being so early. It's only 11 minutes into the game. We've cleared the Melbourne kick chase. No. He didn't touch it. There you go. Just seeing who the ball comes off here. Well, that, that, that touches Trent Liero. Wearing the 11 for the storm. The ball comes off Trent Liero and goes backwards into the rooster. There's no knock on at this stage from the Roosters. We're playing on. Good challenge. There you go. Roosters now take possession and get tackled. The challenge will be su successful. Well, Jackson Polo realised it wasn't a great option to come in for the take. Pulled his arms away. The Roosters have got the ball. Tackle one, 10 metres out. To secure a berth in their first prelim since they won the Premiership in 2019. It's been an amazing effort for the Roosters to make it this far. They were long odds to even make the eight, probably, what, six weeks out? It's been a great winning run. Seven straight. Well, have a look at their form, Tom Owen. Prior to the semi-final, every team they beat didn't make the eight. But what they're learning amongst those games was how to win a semi-final, so they're not going to go away. I beat the Warriors in South twice this year, I know, and Parramatta. I know the, the latter two didn't make the finals, but they're, they're formidable opposition. So it's been a, a, it was a, a stuttering start to the campaign. But towards the back end of the year, they've been more rooster-like. Now, Olam, ball spews free. It was off a rooster. They forced it out. Six more tackles coming. Wish out for King. It's his half century in Melbourne colours tonight. The toiling lock forward. Katoa now. Kiri down around the legs and Allen up there to help. And Butcher part of the tackle also, just outside the 20. Only early in the count as a result of that restart. It comes to Munster. These, both these halves on either side are looking to run here. Dangerous when Munster runs. Here's big Tui Kamakamitha half through the line. Rapid play the ball. Garlic and Wishart. The defence in all sorts here. They had to scurry to bring him down. It was Tedesco up there in the last line of defence. Garlic away now. Munster out wide. 
Reba Smith flies, he's up against Polo, he's got the ball, he's put it down, and this could be another try for Melbourne. Well, there's, a bit, there's a bit happening over in that corner, Tom. One of the six tackle here, Bucky. We have no try. Confirm that it comes off Remus's arm, and it's a knock on. So Ashley Klein thinks this has come off Remus Smith first. Jackson Polo, he gets up there. He's cleared Melbourne's kick chase, is on side. Ooh. Just need to see whether Remus Smith gets a touch in the air here. Well, it goes between the arms. Now, does it touch one? It oh, it does. His, touches his the right forearm. arm. Hits the right arm of Remus Smith. Just need to see what direction the ball goes. Well, it looks like it continues to travel in a forward direction. After hitting the right hand in the field of play, he knocks the ball on. We have a decision. Bruce is under some early pressure here, Brad. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Freddie, they, okay, no they look concerned with the their play, outside man. defenders. So Munster and Wishart, they're showing the football and the defenders are heading out, which is allowing them to run through some space. They need to, they need, they need to worry about the ball carry, as you mm. said earlier. Especially over that right hand side. Yeah. There was way too much space, and they're very hesitant with their defence over there. Cameron Munster will be licking his lips. Billy Slater. Yeah, you can see the energy in the Melbourne Storm defence as uh, the Roosters get a relieving penalty. They'll need that one. They've just got to make the Melbourne Storm make some tackles. Already the Melbourne Storm have made 20 less tackles than the Roosters. This penalty will certainly help. Just looking at Harry Grant on the sideline, it's it's setting up perfectly for Harry with the fatigue roosters in this opening 14 minutes. Wait for Harry to get on. He'll use that leg speed out of dummy half. Always a dangerous proposition. So Egan Butcher is pushed up into the front row out of necessity really in the last couple of weeks. Lindsay Collins, exceptional. Smith and Keary. Now, uh, Wishart was called offside, so he pulled out of the tackle and didn't concede a penalty. That was quick thinking from the young man. Roosters down on the 30. Megan Butcher busy again, running against the grain. It's the waiting arms of King, and he has been stung in that tackle. Very slow up. Something happened in the tackle that he wants the bunker to have a look at. He's not going to get that. Now, Radley. Trying to exploit the gap between Liero and Kama Kamitha. Picked up by Smith. Walker in the air. Polo comes sprinting through. Meany got up high and took it really well under pressure. Well, the kick was too high or Jackson Polo was too fast. He just got his timing all wrong there. Jackson Polo almost went by the cafe. Could have picked up a bucket of chips. He went that far off the field. Now Ollum. Three plays gone. Ah, oh, Warbrick draws a penalty. Oh, he loved it. He's all pumped up. Will Warbrick and after that. Ball. His on, first man. finals Back appearance here, as well. Oh, he's a gigantic man, isn't he? So he's got a coat hanger in his jumper. His shoulders go straight out. <laughs> well, he got rewarded for the intent that he had in his carry there, which is the big difference in the Melbourne Storm tonight. Compared to last week against the Broncos, they just they looked half asleep early in that game. Tonight they got plenty of spring in their step. And if they win this, the early part of the game, they've got three start of origin players sitting on the bench. Harry Grant, Christian Welsh and Tarek Sims. Plenty of experience. Like Will experience their first home final uh, here tonight. Slightly more finals experience, about 110 games overall in the Melbourne outfit, just over 80 for the Roosters. Gee, they've got some finals players on the sideline, haven't they? Manu, Maria Hargreaves amongst them. Harry's getting ready to come back. Out there, all Walker raced up. He missed Munster. He's not the man you want to miss. Set the Six start. more. Trouble here. Meany, oh, jolting shot, it's high. It's a Radley. Oh, 
I actually think, uh, I actually think, is it Wishart? I think he lowered his level as he was going into this tackle, which made it harder for Radley. Oh, just ducked his head. Radley ducked his head, just lost his target when he was coming into contact. Melbourne have decided to take the shot at goal at 4 -nil. Shot a goal, maybe uh, indication of the respect Melbourne has for this Roosters outfit. There's Radley. I mentioned <laughs> mentioned that sin bin stat. Nine games for three sin bins. He's had two high tackle penalties already in the game as Meany knocks it over. Six points to nothing. We've only got to think back to last week, though, Brad. They, the Sharks, for all intents and purposes, should have won that game. With Tedesco in the bin and players injured, but they hung tough. So yeah. there, is, there is some resilience about the Roosters this year. Well, they need to turn resilience, though. Were you ready, Jackson? Turn it into good footy, get the ball down the other end of the field. At the moment, they're giving up way too many half line breaks, line breaks, soft tackles. <laughs> A daunting prospect coming in to replace the incumbent New Zealand halfback, but he's done a stellar job. Kamba Kamitha shoves away Butcher. There's Harry Grant, Tomo. First touch of the football is on the field. He's replaced a sub for Solomona. The, the Roosters, ruck defenders, they need to be on their game now. Harry's going to be looking for every opportunity to run. Yes, the sting out of the initial exchanges, and Harry on the field after 18. Nearly 19 minutes as it was. Stand down. One step. Dummying and dancing. Comes to Wisher. Nice strike. Straight to Teddy at the back though. His 13th final as a rooster tonight, James Tedesco. Eight wins, including two in grand finals. It is a, a very enviable record. His first game against Melbourne this year, he missed the first clash of the year back in round six with a head knock, and he was rested after Origin 3 from the second of those games, which was a tight enough finish, actually. 30 to 16 in round 20. Absolute Kiri. Siwa Wong. Played it on Melbourne's 30 metre line. Kiri up in the air. Oh, what? He's got sensation this year. Yeah, he's been incredible. Nick Meany. The most consistent player throughout the entire season. And you're talking about Ryan Pappenhausen, and as we know, suffered a bad injury last week, but I don't think he was going to unseat that man in the number one jersey. Good shot. Wong on Liero. 6 0, Melbourne at home against the Roosters. A couple of big time clubs doing battle to kickstart. Finals footy here on night this weekend. Wish us. Catch taken by Ponga, who has made an immense contribution since coming into this Roosters team. 170 metres a game on average. He got 220 last week, 180 the week before versus Souths. And uh, a real try scorer as well. Big body, hard to hold. Here's Ponga. Wrapped up by Liero. We haven't seen much of Smith by way of running the ball in. That's a good strong charge by Siwa Wong to go over the halfway. 
Bradley playing to Keary. That was a lovely catch. Now Tedesco creating an extra man and uh, lovely tackle again. Good organisation. Warbrick jam again. He brought Corey Allen to ground. Good point you might make about Brandon Smith, Tomo, as Christian Welsh just comes onto the field. He's done plenty of work defensively. He's in that tackle right there on Justin Island. That makes it 16 for the half already. He's, bat Welsh. He's battling away. Well, if he doesn't run, then it takes everyone else really out of play. They need to be able to hold defenders at the ruck for Tedesco and Keary to come good and create space. Oh, another one just keeps... Oh. A wobbly old ball from Harry. I think it may have slipped Shots out of his on. hands when he released this. Got to get that magic spray out there for him. Oh, it was a wobbly, floaty... It was out in front, he should have took it. But that's two for Kingy tonight. Telstra is the proud naming rights partner of the NRL Telstra Premiership for 20 plus years now. Great supporters of the game. This really is footy country. Yeah. Stay in, wait for the call. Wait, break. You look sharp tonight, Tedesco. Takes a lot of passes off the dummy half. He, he needs to find inside passes off Keary or Walker. Josh Ray. Instead of testing the two markers, maybe testing the A defender. Getting off, getting off a pass off a half, looking at lazy defenders or defenders that can't make it. Bradley thought about passing to Collins. Takes it into the defence himself, where Garlic is still on the ground there, and Welsh accounted for him. There he is again, Tedesco. First receiver, he put a fend on, he beat one, he beat a couple, he got Olin there, he dragged him down. Strong by Tedesco. Walker. Kick out wide to Rell Mays on the ground. They fly. It's knocked back and it was taken. What? How did that not hit the deck? What a catch, what? Harry Grant. <laughs> he is a wizard. We need that to see move. that again. Gets a left hand. Catch it. Catch it. Oh, no oh my God. And that's the fine step. He's got a way. Seriously? There's no way. We'll see it again just to... Ashley, what are you looking at? Obviously something, something different. different to, <laughs> <laughs> something different to Robbo. <laughs> oh, yeah, they got away with one there, Melbourne Storm. Big one. And they've got a penalty off the back. They should have been defending their line there. Couldn't have had a better look at it, could he? Welsh, Grant, Tarek Sims. He'll bring up his 300th game next year, Tarek. In the 280s now. Here's Harry! Strong run. Fast, nimble. The charge up the field here. Katoa, good tackle. Corey Allen. He got a ball away though. Wishart. He gives it back. Grant. They'll be hard to hold. They're impossible to stop from here. Marriott Sedman goes over. Yeah, too good. That's classy footy from the Melbourne Storm. Lovely little play down this right-hand side to kick it all off. It was Ali Katoa that went into the line. Harvey Norman replay. Corey Allen gets involved. There's three Roosters players and a late offload. And then Harry Grant, he sums up the situation, draws a defender in, and puts Marion Sebe through a beautiful hole. Lovely pass. There's a bit of magic by Harry down the other end. In front of the referee, drops a sitter. And the ref doesn't spot it. And then, as he's run out, run out of dummy half, they got the roosters on the back foot. And then just watch him, just pulls in. Lindsay Collins, Marin Seve, huge hole. It's 
Telstra fan cam. Aren't they loving it? I know they've got one in their favour there, the home fans. That was uh, somewhat contentious, Billy Slater. Yeah, it started with Harry Grant, and, and Harry Grant threw the final pass to the, the play before. He got out of dummy half. It was a quick play of the ball, unset markers, and he just gets out and uses his speed. It's a little bit of a high one there. Just gets down, plays the ball, and off the back of that, he doubles up on his plays. He follows the football, gets a nice little offload here by Ali Katoa. Harry ends up with the ball and then just sums up the situation. Now he got away with one down the other end. He's got the little T-Rex arms. He couldn't re <laughs> rein the ball in, but <laughs> T-Rex arms. He got away with it. Well, Ashley Klein just apologised to James Tedesco. I don't think a T-Rex has arms, does it? Here's, uh, here's the kick from inside touch, and it's missed again. Timing it right. Keep timing it right. So uh, a try to, to uh, Marion yeah, Seven. T Rex has got four legs, yeah. hasn't it? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, it's got two behind. big hind legs and no. two little arms. There are it walks, walks on its hind legs. And they walk on all fours? No. A T Rex? What? It doesn't walk at all anymore. <laughs> Here goes Wells. Believe it or not, I haven't actually seen one in the flesh. He's back to the 10. Incidentally, um, James Tedesco was. Uh, having a conversation with Ashley Klein, who apologised to to Teddy, so I don't know that, might, that makes it easier to cop, wait, probably not. The scoreboard didn't hey, change. You're milking. No. <laughs> you're milking, lost ball. Oh. Now nah, he's milking. He's milking. Shot clock on. Let's go. Over here, guys. No, well, Terry, Terry's got full responsibility there. Nice, Harry. Not early. Centre field, scrum, 10 nil, Melbourne. They have to strike soon, Kiri. Tries to get to the outside, he slipped it to Allen, back on the inside, beats a couple, can he link up? Well, there was no one right there, Tomo. Look at players pushing forward, the Roosters. They just popped their head up out of the scrum kick. No, <laughs> oh, he's been pushed over, he wasn't. You've got to let him play out. All the teammates there, Munster and Smith. Yeah. Having a little moment. Oh, Lindsay Collins takes the quick tap. Hang on a minute. He's earned the right to do anything. Smith, Terrell May. Gives the real impetus off the bench. Melbourne with plenty of energy in defence here. Kiri links up Tedesco. Look at the jumpers over there. That's great stuff by Melbourne. Six again, though. Cameron Munster, got to wait. Walker, Radley, May. Targets Grant, who Hurry, gets move. around the ball Back and then Katoa for additional help. Roosters lurking. Butcher, Hurry, wonderful go. tackle. Marion Sebe, oh, firstly, the around the legs there was a, a good tackle. They shift again. Kiri gets oh. inside of Ola, pushes a pass. It's been cleaned up by Melbourne. They just rushed them out of it. Yeah, that was Justin Ola. Luke Kiri just caught him in the corner of his eye. As he was flashing yeah, in. Move. Oh, okay. Wait. Wait. And Welsh hits solidly. Up to row. Lindsay, wait, Egan. Guys. Skipper off the bench tonight. I don't often see that. He's very much there. Yeah, no. Leader wait. up front. So a new role for him. Sure. Got wait. Those interchange plans all. Working smoothly for Craig Bellamy at the moment. Monster. 
A missed kick. Tapped by Polo. Fletcher Baker and Angus Crichton. Come on. Well, they need an impact, the Roosters. Billy. Yeah, with that double change, there's an injection of energy. I just, they look really dangerous, the Roosters, when Tedesco, Keary and Walker all combine. On that right-hand side, Tedesco found a little bit of space. There's only scrambled defence by the Melbourne Storm that saved it. Keary to Allen and away. To Junior Ponga, who comes back in field again, keeps it alive, one bounce. Baker, he's got to bend over. He just got out there. Now Tedesco, he looks the most likely of them. There within 12 metres of the line. Here's the last tackle. Here's Sam Walker. Keeps it alive. Tapped over the back. Penalty. Hurry, Grant, offside. I thought that play before, Freddie, there was a chance for James Tedesco to tip onto his outside man. He went himself. James. Under the pump there, the storm. Yeah, but it's also a couple of times the Roosters have had him under the pump and just haven't had the composure to find the pass. Yeah, Ted, if he, he had players there, Terrell May just opted to run himself. So Fletcher Baker has the Roosters right in front of the post there. Now May. Grant. Bit of legs tackle, Sims there also. Nice pass for Kiri to attack it. Now Tedesco, short to Allen, Sebe. Solid. It's all going sideways. More six tackles. Or six more tackles even. Momorowski beats a couple of them. Momorowski around the corner. Now they push into space. Baker, he wanted to off by, there was no one. They want to tackle Sebe. Now Brandon Smith try. That's a Brandon A ball. try to Smith against his old club. That's what they didn't want. They didn't want to try, but they didn't want to try by him. They had plenty to say during the week, Brandon Smith. They were out. They were out the Melbourne Storm, both sides of the field. Looked like the Roosters were just starting to run a bit hard on the Harvey Norman replay. Just took advantage of the defence that just couldn't come forward any longer. He had no other thing in his mind than just to run as straight as he can, find a little bit of space and just burrow his head underneath an arm. That's a Brandon Smith special, Freddie. He loves those opportunities close to the line. Quicker play the ball. Defenders on their heels on the trial line, but I, it was the lead-up play for mine that got that opportunity. There's some lovely hands, some lovely feet to beat defenders to create that quicker play the ball. Here it is. It was Momorowski that started it all on that right-hand side. He come back in field. Lovely. Look at those feet there. Terrell May. And then Baker gets down, plays the ball, does the right thing, and gives the wheel of cheese an opportunity. It's the Roosters on the board. He's a player, Fletcher Baker. He's going to the Broncos next year. Yes. We haven't even seen scratch the surface of his skill. Only four points in this now. This has flown past the first 34 and a bit minutes of this final. Elimination stuff from Amy Park. You know, Melbourne got to work on their discipline. They've just been penalised two or three times, a couple of six again. Up together, Christian! Wait, hurry, wait! Incredible fight back by the Roosters. They look gone, yeah. They look gone after 15 or 20. 
and all of a sudden their key position players, Kiri played the ball there, here goes Smith and Tedesco again. Oh, oh what a pass to Butcher, now Allen, Corey Allen up the field, trying to find someone to link with, oh he got knocked over with interest there from Mudstar. Oh that took the wind out of him, now Smith explodes again. Good tackle, Tarek Sims. Sam Walker. Trying to get players through to contest it, but Meany again, but they look dangerous with the ball, the Roosters, don't they? Tedesco creating along with Keary. Just having a look at Brandon Smith after that run. He's out here, he's, he's def defending at centre position. He's holding his left hip, maybe lower back. He looks in some sort of discomfort, Ty. That was that tackle from Tarek Sims. He had to come in hard. It just got him right around the hip. Well, they've got to get the ball. This right hand side to the storm, they've got to get the ball at him. Meany in the first receiver. Last tackle, first up. Out of the way, Derek. Kick very deep here by Tyron Wishart. Tedesco allows it to bounce, takes it on the bump. He's been threatening every time he's had the ball so far tonight. Now, Junior Pong. 104 metres for Teddy, and he's opposite meeting second for the meter eaters tonight. Wait. Bradley winds up and runs straight at Harry Grant. Teddy again, back to Radley. Away to Terrell May. Looking for a way through, he nearly gets through. Kiri dummies. Oh, he got. He got whacked in a great shot. Westpac red zone. Roosters dominating. Play the ball's inside 20. Walker wraps around. Kicks in the air. Fletcher Baker trying to contest the ball. Well, that's a Lindsay Collins play. Yeah, he's a player. And the play before is on the inside of Luke Kiri. Supporting the little general. Again, he's been sublime in the air under pressure three or four times in the first half. Up together, Jarrell! Right here, Fletcher, that's right here. Welsh straightens and punches through the centre. Josh, get out of the way, Josh! Josh, don't stand! Yeah. Tedesco passing, Junior Ponga trying to duck through there, but Sebe, excellent defensively here. Corey Allen. They're doing a good job, the Roosters outside backs, getting back behind the ball. And giving Jane Tedesco some assistance. Let's create some space for all of them. May gets it out the back, couple of bounces, Keary scoops it up. Up together, Ali. Taken by Katoa. Bradley Walker. Now Angus Crichton on the ground. Secured by King and Munster. Bradley working with Keary. Out the back to Desco. Around to Corey Allen. And on now to Ponga. He kicked back. It's been juggled by Grant. Oh, geez, he's got good hands. Hold here. Wait. It was a beautiful take by Corey Allen. The pass from James Tedesco went through the line and through the one-hander. And equally as brilliant was Harry Grant. Popped out the one-hand and pulled the ball in. Last minute of the half. The Roosters trying to inflict some punishment before the siren here. Leaney with a nice stoic run to absorb some of that pressure. Munster shifts left. Look at this, they've used five tackles here, they've got absolutely no good. Great kick, Munster. He got a good piece of that one. And Jackson Polor. Just move! 10-6, Cam, what you read here as we head to half-time? Well, I thought it was all Melbourne early, Tomo, but... Got to congratulate the Roosters for hanging in there. It's what they've been doing the last six weeks. Six weeks. 
Well, they haven't dropped the game. They've just played tough. They've hung in there. Up together. And from 10 nil down, that's half time. I think they'll be very happy with that scoreline. So two tries to kick things off for Melbourne, and the Roosters reply. And this is very tight. 40 minutes to decide the fate of both of these teams. One to go through and take on the Panthers in a grand final qualifier. The other says goodbye. 10-6 at the break. I think Cam Munster to be effective needs someone to take control. Let's see if Tyron Wish oh. could be that person. Well, that was nearly a, a bungled start to the second half. It was a long, flat kick by Jackson Polo and taken... And desperately by Tyron Wishart. Back comes Cartola. Oh, wow. Into a violent collision. Sims now. All his experience will be important here in the back end of the game. Munster with a show and run. They don't take the dummy. Up together, hang it. Out past the third. Now Nick Beeney churning through the work again this evening. Bishart's been the primary kicker. That one very shallow. In fact, it's barely cleared the, uh, the head of the chasing pack there. Oh, so, oh, what happened there? Brighton tapped it back. You can catch it, Angus, you know. What a tap. Oh, that's vintage. Tarek, that. Baker galloping up to be confronted by Katoa. There's been some big hits in this. Sorrell May, hasn't he evolved over the course of this season? Given great effect from the bench. Radley playing to Kiri. He goes short to Butcher here. Important tackle there. Wishart once again. It was a fast play the ball. Kiri, away to Sam Walker. Walker can't get away. Backhand flick. Go, Wilshire. Oh, 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 oh. He gets up to the halfway. It's front row on front row. He's up to the 40. How about that? I'm sure he was laughing as he was running there, Christian <laughs> Welsh. He's knackered now. Even he was shocked. Oh. There's Melbourne shift and an unexpected opportunity from the intercept from an unlikely source. King. Frontal tackle by Crichton and May, 25 short of the line. Sims, the end of a, a monster inside pass. Christian Welsh is still catching his breath. He can't move. <laughs> Katoa fires one out for Warbrick. Out. First season he's had. Stopped by Nat Butcher. Munster. Oh, it came off Baker and play on. He didn't play at it. He must have, must have evaded the arm and hit the torso. Momorowski. Good offload. Baker. Now for May. May keeps it alive. Nat Butcher's got it. The Roosters, they're really chanting their arm with these offloads. Billy Slater. Yeah, David Middleton's not sitting next to me, but it's, I think it's safe to say that that's the first intercept that Christian Welsh has, has taken. And I was walking on the field at half time. That is the slow part of the track where he was running. Right. He needed the fast lane, Billy. And he wasn't maybe, in it. Maybe a jockey with a whip would have helped as well. Brandon Smith. Let's get a shorter distance. <laughs> Clydesdale, not a thoroughbred. <laughs> This is really tense. This game could turn one little mistake or a penalty here. Good tackle, Momorowski. Mentioned earlier, it hasn't been seen since round nine. And 
thrown into an elimination final, Get Paul Momorowski. It's incredible that he's here, even here tonight, Tomo. He had a shoulder reconstruction earlier this season. Complete repair. He finds himself in what is the biggest game for the Roosters this season. Polo is going to carry it back. Kick chase for Melbourne. The Storm, the uh, far superior attacking outfit. 24 more tries in the season than the Roosters, but the defences are largely exactly the same. So we're getting a, a low scoring grind here. And there's five minutes since the last stoppage, Tomo. So a little bit of fatigue building now into the game. Target of Kiri, but Corey Allen picked it up. He's looked pretty slick as well. Well, the idea was right by Nat Butcher. If you sink in enough to that defence over on the right hand side, Victor Radley does it really well. You get some space. All good. Kiri kicks high. None of the runners can get through to pressure Meany. He runs back towards Sam Walker. Still no stoppage. Almost six minutes gone after half time. He's going to blink first. Ball break. Poor old Christian Welsh has actually ran off the field on the other side. He's now going to walk all the way around. Oh, it's been a horror couple of minutes for Christian. <laughs> It had to be Harry, didn't it? Grant picked it up. Couple of bounces. Wishart. He's run away from all of his teammates and he's put down. Munster kicking. Smith tries to fly. It's been knocked on. Polo lost it. Eisenhuth picked it up. It's a scrum, your feet. He did. Double knock on, Melbourne Storm feet. feet. I did though, I did, and I ran with Well, Harry Grant once again just dangerous out of dummy half. Gets outside Butcher and inside Baker. Breaks the tackle of Smith. And it's a foot race, Tedesco, Eisenhuth. He had the gallon jeans, Eisenhuth. Tough, not fast. And Teddy in a copy book. Beautiful tackle. Not denim jeans, he's, he's related to Paul Gallon, is what Freddie's saying. Big passage, this! Holland! What a tackle, Momorowski, one on one. Isaac Hooth stopped almost in the middle of the ground. Butcher and May, the tacklers. Grant. Spiral is a pass for Munster at first receiver. It goes behind Meany. And it's picked up by Momorowski. There's just no feel for the storm at the moment. Even on the break that when Grant went in from dummy half, the next play of the ball, the ball hit the ground. Tyron Richard ran behind someone and had to concede. At that time Munster just throws the ball to ground. You know, in these type of games, Freddie, you just you cannot give those mistakes away in those particular positions. Good offload, Baker. The Roosters go on attack in their left. Sweat to Keary. Allen tries to bash his way through a hole. Go. They're more willing to use the ball at the moment, it seems. The Roosters trying to offload wherever they can. And with that disorganised defence, Brandon Smith can run to within 26 of the Melbourne Storm line. He's been stung in that tackle. He played it to Keary. Walker's the man. Up it goes. Meany under pressure. Baker down there again. Oh, well taken. He's been a mitt, hasn't he? And now they try to mount a counter attack. It's with Ollum. And just move. Got to get some runners at Brandon Smith. He's tired. He's done a lot of work. He got stung in that previous run that he had. That's the job of Munster. Harry Grant, here it is here. 
He just went to ground awkwardly. He's looking slow to respond on his return runs. Back to the referee. Still a very one out at the moment. Not really working in numbers. Not putting much pressure on the Roosters' defence at all. No. No, if you're Munster, Harry Grant, you've got to identify that. You get two or three ball carriers at Brandon Smith, and then you put on one of your little trick plays you behind the ruck. Billy? Yeah, that's the key. You've got to partner up. You can't do it all on your own. Although Harry Grant split him on his own just before, you've got to partner up. It's a lot easier. And you've got to be brave to pull the pull the trigger on the plays. You can't just wait for the for the game just to slide Good by. chance. Sorry, Billy. It goes to Walker. they got numbers here. May try to slice through them. Keeps the ball alive. Back to Crichton. Oh, no, it's on the ground. And Melbourne got it back. Oh, Melbourne, I've gone. He got a call from the touchy, I think. They, just, they stood there, the Roosters. They, they didn't want to jump on the football. And now, right, a couple now Munster's from challenging. Bucky. They're disputing the decision of a knock on by Remus. The last play of the ball was tackle three, but it's six again for Melbourne. So he might need a breather as well. Angus Crichton just waffles one out the back here. Yes. Okay, the ball is offloaded backwards from the Roosters. No touch yet from anyone playing on at this point. Remus Smith then been. pulls the ball towards his opponent's dead ball line, using the ground to maintain possession, which is a knock-on. Challenge is unsuccessful. Uh, unsuccessful, he dragged it forward. I thought he pulled it back towards his own dead ball line. On. So no more challenges, Melbourne. I think they thought he was facing the other way. <laughs> Mm. Was a yeah, he was wobbly. facing the other way. Mm. <laughs> they were right. Challenge gone. Lock him in, Brandon. Go back ten and hold. Head in early. Wait for the break call. Break. Tackle He's had a good game, isn't he? Yeah, Terrell May. How about Jerome Hughes, Cam? You know much on his injury? Well, I think after that game against the Broncos, they weren't overly confident of him taking part tonight, Freddie. And he just couldn't get up during the week for any of the training sessions. So he, he carried that calf issue into that Broncos game. So. If there's a storm that have progressed through tonight. Oh, Roosters running downhill. They've got plenty of energy. Tedesco tried to get it away. Don't no know. hand by Melbourne. Now. Not sure whether he'll be available even next week, Fred. If there is a next week. Bradley for Fletcher Baker. They look energised at the moment, the Roosters. Smith with a run and a kick. It's a good one. Smith chasing with... Great figure, it's tapped over the back by Warbrick. What a play from the Chiefs. Oh, great play because he went against the grain of where the Roosters were going. You see everyone there, all the Roosters going towards their right, Melbourne to their left, and he caught Nick Meany slightly out of position. No fullback at home, smart play, chased his own kick. This could get a good result for the Roosters. They need, go. They need the ball. They're going to go short. They need the ball. No, they're not. They were going to go short. Munster snaps it long. Popped up neatly off the boot of Terrell May. Josh Moon! Yeah, way back here, Tarek, way! No points after half time. Baker. A lot of possession in favour of the visitors. Can they do something with it by way of points? Here's Nat Butcher. Into oh, Elliot Cartier. Oh, Down inside that red zone again. Tedesco into first receiver. Playing out. Oh, oh, he got nailed. Oh, 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 oh. He got nuts it. Oh. Yeah, just be grateful it wasn't Olam. Good hands, Allen. Away to Ponga. 
Back on the inside, oh, Melbourne oh, Scurry. Oh, they oh, want to oh, kick oh, out oh, wide here, the oh, Roosters. Oh, they feel they've got the advantage for numbers. Here he's going to oblige. It's uh, reasonably flat, it's tapped back, it's picked up by Baker, he farms it away, Walker, Harbour Bridge, Polo taps it, Smith's got it. Oh, that's a victory. That's a victory. Defending that set was a victory. Here's the hit. Bang! There, Walker. Nelson's back out there now. That could be an incisive change by Craig Bellamy. Two hit ups in three plays. Oh, Big Nelson Asuma Solomona. Second most experienced finals player out there for the storm tonight. There's the most experienced. Munster. All he sees is Melbourne jerseys. Well, that's a great recovery by the Melbourne Storm. Another set of six defending their line. Brenda Smith comes up with a scrap. And they go 100 metres. And the Roosters, their third tackle, coming off their own line, 10 metres out. So Collins is out there too. So there's the retort by Trent Robinson. Nelson for Melbourne, Collins for the Roosters. Crichton runs straight towards Munster, bumped away. Just get up! Right there. Let go, let go, Nelson! Christian Welsh is there, he would have. Double knock on. Shot clock on, where do you want it? Oh, there's a half chance. Gone In the middle, guys, shot clock's going. In the middle, let's go. Missed time pass for the Roosters. They look really good going down this left-hand side. Corey Allen just couldn't hold on to that ball. Eli Katoa, yeah, it was a low ball. Well, they just got their lines wrong, Nat Butcher and Corey Allen. Billy? Yeah, it's been Cameron Munster that's really turned the momentum. A couple of big shots in defence. One on Angus Crichton, obviously that one on Sam Walker. I think he just gets the feel that there's something happening and this is the time of the game to do it. Hold on now, backhanded pass. Great defence, Roosters. Smith thought he could sneak down the sideline, but they were able to recover. Here's Olam. He's cooking something up, Munster. He's pointing the men around everywhere. He's marshalling them around the park. He's in the first receiver. He fires to Harry Grant. And then out to Josh King. They set up midfield. Melbourne by four. And about to see the first try of the second half. Push up. Seven. Good strong tackle. and Liero, he beat Walker. It was a great covering effort by Radley from behind. Oh, it's on the ground. Wishart has to kick here, and under the circumstance. Oh, it's been dropped by Radley at the back. Well, he had too much time, didn't oh. he? He had way too much time oh, to decide yeah. what he wanted to do. He was thinking about putting his foot back. <laughs> Where am I? Trying to remember the rules. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Victor. <laughs> but what happened there with that loose ball? It ended up in the hands of Tyron Wishart. He turned around and faced out to his right-hand side, and every Melbourne Storm player was offside. So there was actually no, there was no chases. And Victor, he just got that all wrong. Wait for the break call. Too much happening. Stay on side. Stay in there, James. Break. Buster, one-handed dummy. Oh, gee, Smith got flattened in back play. There's a high tackle penalty. Nah. Just lazy arm. Do you take two here, Freddie? Eight. Yes. Go up by six. Yeah. Points at a premium for oh, sure. Yeah. I'd take the two. Harry Grant's asking. He's not kicking that well either, Nick Meaney. So it's Cameron. not a given. They will take the shot.
So Nick Meaney would normally throw this over. Oh, there's Ryan Pappenhausen, leg raised. Good on your Pappy. That was heartbreaking this time last week. I'm so pleased that the prognosis is he could be back for round one next year. Geez, I wish he could have wiggled his toes. So Meany's missed a couple from very kickable position so far tonight. And he sneaks it through. Out to a converted try. Almost an hour of this elimination final and gone. Mine. On a splendid night here in Melbourne. Pass of a Solomona. The Colossus in the pack. And now Katoa. Extended his contract with the Melbourne Storm recently. Tackle just outside the 20. Now Eisenhuth. They're really surging off the line here, the Roosters. They've had a, a little break there, courtesy of that penalty goal by Nick Meany. Galeero charging towards Walker. They're a lot more dangerous out of the Melbourne Storm. We're coming in numbers. Monster exploring. He goes all by himself, but Collins is waiting for him. Back to within 19 of the halfway. Oh, she came rushing out, King. Good, good footwork at uh, the right time by Allen to evade that big shot. Now Jackson Polo. Smith's still going. Sandon Smith's an option too on the bench. He's been... The backup dummy half to give Brandon a break if he needs it. He's off on a run here, though. Last tackle, Tyrant! Down inside the 30. It's a play five. It'll go to Sam Walker. Benny with uh, Tedesco chasing through hard. He keeps it in the field. Play. Great chase, Tedesco. And Warbrick trying to get around the Great tackle. Pomorowski again. Bradley rushes out on Olam. That's three years. There's a few G-forces in that collision. Bradley and Olam coming together. And now Liero. Back red zone time. 19 all. Play the balls inside opposition 20. Here's Sebet. Goes to Master for a kick. Oh, Smith made good ground on them here. He just got checked as he was trying to. Really put Munster under the pump. Tedesco on the fly again. Tackled by Liero within five of the halfway. I was going six again, but he lost the ball. Put his hand on the ball. It was stupid. They've got to have to play the ball. Hand on the ball. It was stupid. But he went to give a penalty, Ashley Client realised it was outside the 40, so he waved six again. By the time the Roosters player, Corey Allen, went to play the ball, the whole Melbourne Storm team were offside. Look at him just holding the ball. So Brandon Smith's yeah, leaving the ball, field. Sand and Smith about to come on. A like-for-like -like replacement in name only. He's been good since Smith played halfback with Sam Walker gone and he's been so good. They've kept him in the team as that utility player. Good footwork, good speed. Where's Gets up forward. Where is Ellie? Back foot. Push up. He played fullback last week, Sam Smith. 
for a little while anyway. Here's May. They've had a lot of ball, haven't they, the Roosters, for one try. They've got to do something to break down this Melbourne defence. Tedesco shows, goes himself. Munster, superb defence again. Bradley Rapley, Walker, Butcher, Wishart with a good tackle, but the offloads there for Sandon Smith to kick towards the end. Oh, Mamaronski! Was he tackled without the ball? Was he tackled here without it? Coming into five here. Ah. Well, I think Ashley Bucky. Klein was going to go out to, to the 20 first. until he got a call from I his no touch try. judge. Confirmed Harry side. Grant isn't um, impeded initially. And then if you keep going through, if that's play on, make sure there's no tackle before the ball. Wow. Um, it's going to be touch and go. So we're looking at the whole play here, Freddie. So Harry Grant, they're saying, was impeded earlier. And if that's the case, then they won't even roll the tape on her. Looking at the ball. lead run here of Lindsay Collins. He runs directly at the chest of Harry Grant, takes him out of the Melbourne defensive line. The Roosters now play back towards where Harry would have been defending. Harry Grant should be able to defend at this point and he isn't. Roosters now take their advantage by playing on out the back. We have a decision. That's a difficult that one. Mm. Lindsay oh, Collins, he, he couldn't do much else than what he did. He got through the line. You could see him shift his body to try and get through the line. And the fact Harry got actually back in the line and his jersey was back in the line. It's a lesson though, you've got to get through the line. We didn't even get to see the... Yeah. Oh. Oh, there you go. I'll have to wait for the Sunday right footy show right for that. Here. For the very first time, the men's and uh, women's rugby hey, league stars from across the Pacific oh, yeah. will come together for the Pacific Championships. Be right here at Amy Park on October 18 as the Australian men and women take on New Zealand. Head to nrl.com slash tickets now. Pacific Championships will be wonderful international rugby league at the conclusion of the... NRL Telstra Premiership season. Still six points. 15 to play. Only had a, a penalty goal so far Please after half time. Great carry by Arsava Solomona, which allows Grant to run. Oh, the ball drops. They're a bit clunky with the footy tonight. No, no, I thought they were in line because he kept going forward. Fuck on. Well, he doesn't normally get them wrong. All right, what do you want in the scrum? It was a bad pass, jumped out of dummy half and trying to bring Tyron Wishart onto the line, but he was running sideways. He wanted it early, Tyron Wishart. Let's go, hurry up. Send it, send it. It's not quite happening for the Melbourne Storm. It's going to be a defence, Brad. Only six points Break. conceded so far through 65 minutes of this game. The Roosters have had a lot of opportunities. Kama Kamitha preparing. Collins. Butcher running hard. Back underneath the Hockiri pass. Goes inside Melbourne Territory. Wait to Sandon Smith. So what a run! Sandon Smith in the clear. Gives it to Radley. Radley puts it to his drag down by Marks. Gotta go right. Smith, great pass. Oh. Collins over. Sandon Smith has lit it up since he's been out there. We're about to be locked up at 12 all. What a play. Well, two consecutive plays, in fact, from the Roosters. Sandon Smith, he set it all up. A little dart from dummy half. Harvey Norman replay. Out he goes to his right. Wrong foots, Nelson and Sofa Solomona. And then sends Victor Radley on his way. Great tackle from behind from Cam Munster. And then look at this pass. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, just hits Collins on the chest. The big man, oh, he's happy. It's the Sandon Smith show. 
if you think back to the first half, Freddy, this is where the Roosters actually took control of the game. It was all storm early. As the coach's box goes up, Robbo's happy. Well, I'm glad it was Lindsay Collins. I think when, they, when he threw the ball out of dummy half, he's just trying to get it on the far right side of the field. There was space everywhere. But big Lindsay Collins, he found the shortest way to the, the try line. But I'm just going to take this and run straight under the goalpost. Great awareness. Great awareness by Sandon Smith because that, that is exactly where Cameron Munster would be defending. He had to make the tackle, the previous tackle, way on the other side. Great footy. They're playing for keeps here, and it is 12 each. for Lindsay Collins in his career. And gee, he would have contributed significantly to all of them. A critical Penrith. try. 12 all. What a finish. Penrith is sitting at home watching this thinking, keep going, boys. Keep whacking each other. Oh, yeah, extra time. It's, oh, it's a mandatory five minutes each way and then extra golden. Yeah, five minutes of extra that. time, then Golden Point if they're still locked. Sanders, Smith. Way to Terrell make by big minutes, Terrell May. Butcher. Steams into the defence once again, where Katoa was waiting for him. Walker. For Meany to defuse Tedesco flying through and makes the tackle. They're going to drag him. Well, oh, it's a penalty. They were offside. Corey Allen. Yeah, Corey Allen. Corey Allen offside. He didn't side. need to. Yeah, James the Tedesco. Corey Allen's he was fine. He, but you could hear Ashley Klein in the effects, Mike. He was calling Corey Allen quickly. Two or three Two times. Over. Let's go. Corey Allen offside. Oh. Corey. It's tight, Corey. isn't it? Corey! Corey! Corey didn't hit. <laughs> oh. Hold here, guys. Wait. Neville's costly. Well, I'll tend to go. This is where you got to back up your errors. you got to help your teammate out that's just made the error and defend, defend it with your life. Great tackle, Walker jamming in on Liero. She haven't we had some unbelievable finals games. Last Sunday in Newcastle, a remarkable finish. Are we heading for something similar here? 12 all and we're heading towards the last 10. Meany, super great. Munster's in trouble, Munster's in trouble, Munster's in real trouble. Radley with a great chase. Well, he had a great shot early for a kick down that left-hand side. He just got a little bit too cheeky, I think, Cameron Munster. Yeah, plenty of time the first one, then Victor just comes swarming in on him, and then Walker, and then Momorowski. A little bit too cute. Do you take the one as soon as you're in range, Cam? Well, no, not quite yet. I don't think so. No, I think there's still a little bit of football left in both teams, particularly the Roosters. They are finishing a much stronger footy team. Butcher. He's running full throttle on that left edge, particularly after half time. Another thriller. Finals footy is the best kind of footy, and you're seeing it all here on nine. 
Live from Amy Park, the Roosters try to cause the upset. Well, here it is if they want it. Yeah, it gone. goes to Sam Walker. He's got time. He stabs at it. He's kicked the goal. The Roosters lead the game 13 12. He massaged it over. That was. Was that a chip? Like a little yeah. chip drop kick? He put the driver back in, <laughs> in the bag. The golf bag. <laughs> And just pulled out a little eight, a little eight iron, and just just punched it. Yep. He needed the elevation, Brad, to get it over the chasers. The Telstra fan came, well, the the handful of roosters who have come here. Well, they won last. Ignited. They won last week's game, 13-12. We might have to go to David Milton to see this is a record if this was to happen, Billy. Yeah, and Sam Walker kicked the field goal in that one at around a similar time. Look, I think they've done the right thing by getting their nose in front. But what it does, it changes the mindset of the Melbourne Storm. I think they'll go all out attack now. Harry Grant, Cameron Munster, Nick Meany through the middle. It's a pretty good play when you think about it like that, Billy. From a point of view of Melbourne, sort of, they, they haven't had the touch. A lot of passes going to Brown. At times they've looked dangerous, but when they've needed that lead, but just hasn't really been there. And, and it's the first time the Roosters have hit, hit the front, so that scoreboard pressure will certainly take effect now in this last seven and a half minutes. Tedesco. They wanted six more there. The Roosters were waving fiercely towards Ashley Klein. Keary with a kick. Meany with another catch. Warbrick's ready himself to run it back. Can they defend them? Their way to another one point win here. The Roosters, they finished in eighth. They're eyeing off their first prelim since 2019. It'll take another big effort by Melbourne. I'm wondering if they think about levelling at 13 all, maybe. Three tackles used. The Roosters really quick up off the line. Oh! Walsh, uh, Walsh out the back. Melbourne wanted six more. Again, that call was declined. Fourth play, Munster. He brings the arrow back underneath. And he's almost through a gap here. No one's in position for a field goal. The arrow's been twisted up here. It's all right, it's the last tackle. Well, it'd be Nick Meany, wouldn't it? Cam? Yeah, if this is a penalty, I think Nick Meany steps up and has oh. a shot from 30 out. He's thinking hip drop. Uh, look up. Please, come on. There, there is there is some contact with the lower leg, but that's that's not a hip drop. His bottle man's on the ground. Do you need the doctor or can we play on? Liero's okay. No intervention from the referee. Last tackle. Christian. Last tackle. Come on, go. They're on. The way. Munster Christian. fires it up in the air. Olam chasing. Smith chasing. Whoa, good pressure catch by Polo. Homerovsky. <laughs> They Olam. took some bravery, didn't it? Olam and Nelson are so for Solomon at that time. Oh, they got him down a short. Oh, they oh, made a mistake. Oh. See what I want with a pass to Jackson Polo, and that is going to open the door. Well, Jackson Polo was in front of Siwa Wong. He did everything right. Play the ball. Brought in Munster. Jackson Polo's in front of him. Just as we were talking there, just watching the spine from the Melbourne Storm, Grant, Munster, Wishart, Meany, all having a discussion about this set. Looks like they will set up for a, a field goal. Here's Welsh. They're point blank. They're going to have a crack first time. Here's Munster. No, through the hands. Meany back to the middle. Oh, they've lost, what, 10 metres there? Wishart might be an option as well. Picked up by Harry Grant. Sent away to Christian Welsh. 
Here goes Munster. Been trying to get Munster on the right side of the ball. Here he He's goes. standing 10 metres behind them. We might be about to be locked up again. Munster had to prop. Comes back off the left foot. Collins missed him. He gets to May. He's pulled down. The Roosters desperate. They might have denied their chance at a field goal. Wishart's gone back there. He's super deep. He'll get a kick away. It's a shocker. <laughs> Is it Kamakamika in the head? <laughs> Kamakamika was that a Falcon? Was that a Falcon? You're on the ground there, so I can't play on Sandy. Flush in the head. <laughs> yeah, he's getting the ball on the wrong Back side. In. He had the beauty of a quick play of the ball. Kiri again. It's like last week. Oh, my <laughs> God. <Got him. laughs> wow. They just got that whole set wrong, Melbourne. The setup, it should have been the most simplest three tackles for a shot at field goal. When you lose your halfback, you sort of nearly got to expect that. Harry Grant, actually, should have a fair bit more to say in that set of six. He gets a head injury. Four minutes to play, so two, maybe two and a half. Three sets of six max for Melbourne. Karma Kam Kamitha's coming uh, off the field for a, an HIA. It wasn't because the ball hit him, it's because of this. Ooh. He's got caught the upper arm of May. Uh, Emma, good crowd here. The official crowd, 19,534. But these Storm fans, they need to get louder and get their team home. So Collins. Last tackle, Derek. Straight. Wait, out of the way, Walker. Played it back to Sandon Smith. Here goes Walker. Meet his beat. Uh, brilliant for the Storm. Can he get them out of a huge hole here? Less than four to play. The Roosters try to survive on sheer guts and make the prelim from eighth position. Who'd have thought? Munster. Liero now. They've used three tackles. They're not going to be close enough for a shot at field goal. Comes out to Seve, Seve nearly through. Great right defence in the inside. Oh, six four. Wow. Massive call. Munster, Christian Welsh, Tarek Sims. They need to rally a quick play the ball. Welsh, Arsene Solomon, a great tackle, Kiri. There's your fast play the ball. Grant. Away to Munster, can't sell a dummy. He gets a lovely pass away though. Here's Harry. Oh, he thinks it might have been high. No. Oh, the crowd thought it was high. He's testing the ref. He's testing them big time. He's testing the ref. No, it's just a... Wait, wait, he wait. He thinks it was high and he Double wants three. a penalty from next to the post. He's got to be careful. He can't stay down too long. Play the ball. Yeah, he'll get Play an HIA. Oh, it was. It was. It was Sam Walker got away with a high tackle last week. Get up there, Sam! Gee, they're not in a good wait, part wait, of the field wait, for a field wait. goal here. Grant himself. Last couple, they can't possibly kick it from here, can they? Olam, Munster, he's going to kick across them. It's a one-on-one -on -one jumping contest. It's taken out there by Nelvin. It's a crowd. <laughs> Where Rick flew through the air like Superman! Incredible! <laughs> and the crowd here at Amy Park, they oh. have erupted. Wow. Erupted. What a finish to this game. Will Warbrick, he's been relatively quiet for the most part of this match. Harvey Norman replay. Cameron Munster, he put it right on the spot for Will Warbrick, and he still had plenty of work to do. He had to take the catch in the first place, and then had to find the line. 
what a take that is. He pulled it out of the hands of Junior Ponga. He just demanded it. What a shot this is. Look at that, two go up wow. for the ball and one comes down. He's been the find of the year, Will Warbury. On the end of a Cameron Munster kick. He hasn't been fantastic, Munster, but he's just wanted it. He hasn't been able to do it with trickery. He's been able to, he's done it with his defence, his determination, and he found the perfect kick, isolated the Roosters winger, Junior Ponga, and found their best jumper, Will Warbrick. The find of the season puts him into another week of semi-finals. Oh, don't go too early, Brad. No, they're gonna, well, they're only up by three. This is a huge kick for Nick Meany. They're gonna have some time on the clock still, the Roosters, so they're gonna go short. It's still ticking. He's got it. Can you believe it? He's got it. I don't know about the rule with the clock in extra time. Referees just pick and choose when the clock stops. I think we need to find some sort of consistent structure around our clock and tries. All right. The Roosters have to go short. They're all out left. Any chance comes down to this restart. Stay behind. Stay behind! An incredible aerial catch by Will Warbrick has put Melbourne within 30 seconds of a grand final qualifier. Tedesco goes short. The Roosters are coming from everywhere. It's taken! Stand down. Stand Nick Meany. Oh, Nick had to Meany, what a game! Oh. He's been like a bank. Well, the Roosters have come so close. One bit of individual brilliance has been enough to put Melbourne through. They head to a grand final qualifier against the Panthers and the Roosters' most bold charge has come to an end. An unbelievable finish. Will Warbrick with one of the great plays in Melbourne Storm history. They came within a minute of exiting in straight sets. 18-13, the full-time score.